Okay, here we are at the Red Rose Diner in the back area here, and we have some guests that will introduce themselves and tell a story that's almost unbelievable, and it re refers to Gordon Tyndall, the person who actually brought this diner to Tawanda uh, from Stroudsburg via Lancaster, and so, you know I did? Yeah, we're, we're, all right, we're filming. Okay, you want to introduce yourself, say who you are, and how you first met Gordon Tyndall. My name is Wendy Robinson. And I'm Bob Burton. And where are we're, you guys from? We're from Corvallis, Oregon. Wow, okay, I've heard of the name. <clears throat> we have friends that we met in Guatemala that uh, live in Lanesboro. In Minnesota. Minnesota, and, and so we visited them and camped in the city park there, and uh, they encouraged us to go to the diner, so we did that. And uh, there we met uh, Gordon Tyndall. It was his wife Val there, or Valerie? Or? Yes, we met Valerie too. We met them at a, um, an art opening. Okay. Oh, yes, that's right, before we ever got to the, the diner. Then we heard the story that um, this was not his first diner, but, but he had set this one up in Lanesboro after <clears throat> establishing a diner or re rehabbing, I guess, and, and revitalizing a diner in Tawanda, Pennsylvania. Well, it turns out that's very close to where we have uh, family, mm -hmm. so uh, we determined we had to come visit Tawanda. <laughs> and we knew where Tawanda was, which was sort of what it was exciting, you know, unusual for him too, because most people in the middle of Minnesota yeah. do not know where Tawanda, Pennsylvania is either, so. Um, but he's, he's a remarkable man, and he also had one in Decorah that he sold, it's in Paris now. It was, oh a, it was a stainless steel one that he had. Oh. And they put it up on a boat, and he saw he saw the uh, moving of it. And he was building the the other one that, that you were in down near the airport. One of our um, one of our customers, Rob Hartman, allowed him to keep this this monstrosity. It was waving in the wind. I mean, this thing was really in bad shape. And just through just sheer determination, he put that thing together and, and screwed it all together with plywood and everything else. And uh, just an amazing uh, man. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you got a chance to uh, see the operation up there. So I understand they're in the the she's into theatrics, and once a year I think they close the place and they have a, a they have a, like a um, a raffle or something, and people pay money. And what they do is they buy the place for the night, and he gets dinner for eight for eight hundred bucks, and it goes towards their organization. So, so is it now open? Yo, oh, oh, well, it's definitely open. Oh, because when we were there, he was still fighting with all of. Oh, the, really? With all of this was probably about the state of Minnesota six or seven years ago, and he was fighting because he hadn't gotten the proper permits, and 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 he was wanting to stay true to the original design inside, and he was putting in old kinds of mm -hmm. uh, old. Um, appliances and stuff and they didn't like the fire suppression system or something like that i don't remember what it was uh, well he's going by grandfather he always mentions the grandfathering this in and because these things uh what do you what do you, what they're doing is preserving it's like a museum we, we yeah. look at ourselves as a lighthouse keeper here you yeah. know so right um so you haven't um uh, have you been on the you guys are on the internet i assume to some extent yes. Oh, yes. if you have an email address yes. Oh, yes if you leave your email address what i will do i'll send you links uh, to their place and you can see actually what they're doing there and they're up and running and, and really having cool. a, a wonderful time and there um, there's several newspaper references to the good deeds that they're doing there oh, but okay. to have you come all the way back here <laughs> and um, you know visit this this is like a full circle completed it's just yeah. a wonderful thing and I will definitely if you want to say hello to them again yes yes hello hello oh, it was great yes. talking to you that one night <laughs> hello Gordon Okay, well, thank you so much for stopping by the Red Rose, and um, hopefully we'll see you again. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Right